Hello everyone. This will be a quick video to show you how to use OBS Studio and OBS Wiltercam. That's an add-on for OBS Studio in your Roll20 sessions to you know, give the players a bit more of an immersion if you, if you want. Um, so I've already installed OBS Studio and I installed also the add-on that you will find under Tools. So if you go under Tools, you will have Virtual Cam in here. Um, once you click on it, basically it's uh, pretty st straightforward to use it uh, uh, like I will be using in this video. I didn't change any settings. I just sticked on auto starts because I want the virtual cam to start every time I launch uh, OBS Studio. Uh, it, um, in this case, I stopped it just to show you the difference. So if we now go on uh, a game, I prepare for this demonstration in Roll20. You will see that in the settings I selected the OBS camera here instead of my physical webcam that's a C922. So uh, in my case I have my physical webcam connected to this computer, OBS camera that's a virtual cam uh, in OBS and I also have XSplit Broadcaster uh, virtual camera uh, that I won't be using in this, in this video course. So I selected OBS camera, for the microphone I selected a physical microphone of my C922. So once you select this and reconnect it to your game session, uh, you will have basically uh, everything that you will see here will be uh, what you mix in OBS Studio. In this case, it's grey because I didn't start the OBS RetroCam, not yet. So let's go back in OBS Studio, let's go into Tools, RetroCam, and start it. Okay, as you can see now, it's black because it's showing basically my scene here that's black. I'll show you if I can, if I change now my scene, I prepared a number of them just for this video. Uh, for example, I don't know, boat. I basically this is a static image I put as a background in my scene. You'll be shown in your uh, in Roll20. Um, this is a static image, of course, but you can still put as a source also your physical webcam. In this case, if I activate it, I will see my face on top of it. Of course, I'm using uh, a chroma key uh, filter to uh, avoid showing you know, my house and the background. If I go into my filters here, chroma key, as you can see, if I deselect it, you will see my green screen behind me. Uh, I select it back and it will make disappear everything and you will produce a nice effect, a nicer effect in, you know, showing just your face and the background of your choosing to the players. So you can change scene here to any other scene that you that you want and, you know, the players will see it. If you go into studio mode, actually, you will have two panes, basically two ports. On the right one, you will see what is, you see what is transmitted to you, to your players through the webcam the virtual one, of course. On the left, that's the, the scene that will follow once you click on transition. So basically, while they see in this nice village here, you can choose another, another scene and then transition it to the player whenever you like. As you can see, it's pretty much um, real time. Uh, there is a bit of flickering actually in Roll20. It wasn't here a couple of days ago when we played. There was no flickering at all. So I don't know what's happening today, but Anyway, usually it's not, there's no flicker, nothing. What you see in here, in your, uh, in your OBS, is what they see, basically, without stuttering, without, without flickering, with a, with a fraction of a second of delay. Um, of course, you can put your face, you can put uh, videos as well as background. So if you have a look at this, for example, you will see that I put, a, as a background, I put uh, a video going on in a loop, and that's my face on top of it, and but you can remove it and you can put a static image instead of course you can put a another video for example when the players are uh, traveling and they stuck in a snowstorm you can show them this and it will be the snowstorm video playing with uh, whatever you you know want to to throw at them here you can show them basically npcs using static images like the ones that I showed you before, like in this in. In this case, for example, the background is an animated GIF 
and the foreground is another, for example, an NPC portrait that you can show them. As you see, there's a fire going on. This is just an animatic GIF, a few frames going in a loop. And I'm showing them basically uh, a face. Uh, you can show more than one, of course. You can prepare your scene here on the left, you know, and just uh, once you satisfy with what you want to show them, you can send them the, the scene, as you can see here. So there are many opportunities, and uh, what I use it for is to show them environment, uh, interiors of a place, exterior specifically, uh, the traveling in a, in a forest, I can show them uh, the image of a, of a forest, for example, uh, or a swamp, uh, I can show them a snowstorm, I can show them rain, I can show them a campfire, for example, when they stop. They have a campfire, a video going on. You cannot send in the, in the, through the virtual webcam audio as well, the mixed audio that you have here, but you have a nice jukebox option here. For example, the campfire sound that you can play together with the video of a, of a campfire. And the, uh, the effect is quite nice anyway. I hope this has been useful to, you know, to give you another idea to uh, to give more immersion to the players to spice up your sessions in row 20. Thank you for watching this and see ya.